Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my November favorites and this month I've actually combined my favorites with a little bit of a haul video since a lot of the products I have to show you are new, mostly beauty products that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale as well as all the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales that have gone on and I'm still waiting on a few things to come in that um, I'll probably just post on my Instagram but that I'm really excited about and I thought I would share with those with you as well. So I'm gonna get started with the beauty products first since I've got a ton of beauty this month that I've been loving. The first thing is something I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale and it is the Beauty Blender Holder. I'm not exactly sure the name of this, but this is kind of a travel case so that when you um, travel, which I just did for Thanksgiving, and this is kind of dirty, my apologies. Um, you can kind of put your beauty blender inside here and it keeps it from touching anything else and it still allows it to air dry through all the little holes in it. So really, really cute, really, really um, smart idea from Beauty Blender. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is something that I picked up off of Amazon after hearing so many people rave about it and I just dropped it on the floor so it's all bubbled up on the top, but it shouldn't really look like this. It's the Bioderma um, Micellar Water cleansing water and um, you can't even read oh yeah it does say makeup removing my solution so um, the I think this isn't actually French but I picked this up off Amazon for a great price and I have heard so many people rave about this so I started using it just to remove my eye makeup and then I started using it kind of instead of using the little cleansing towelettes that I usually use and that's sort of my first cleanse and then I'll use my usual facial cleansing oil from Bobbi Brown and that's sort of my double cleanse routine and I've been absolutely loving it. This stuff leaves your skin really refreshed and hydrated and just feeling really good for kind of the next step of your skincare routine. So I've been really loving that this month. Um, a couple of new things that I have tried this month. So the first thing is a product that I was sent and um, this is a product that I have been reluctant to purchase because of the price point and I knew that if I purchased it and I loved it, it's like I didn't want to get addicted to it because of the price point, but it is the um, Creme de la Mer Moisturizing Cream, and I don't know if you can see this. This is a little tiny size that was sent to me, and um, as you can probably see in here, it's almost gone. It smells amazing. That's one of the things I love about this. It smells super good. It works super well. It makes your skin just really plump and hydrated. I've been using it at night as sort of a night cream, and yeah, I'm gonna end up having to purchase this. The next bunch of skincare products that I decided to give a whirl after hearing so many great things about it is the Elemis skincare line, specifically the Pro Collagen Marine Cream and Oxen Ox I can't even say it, Oxygenating Night Cream. Um, but I found a set on Black Friday, and I think it's still going on for the holidays. Um, I think it was about $200 to try this sort of sample set of all the products that I've heard so much hype about. So the first product is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. And this is what it looks like. It's in this huge jar. I have already tried it. Um, and I will tell you, I like the way this cleanses my face and leaves my face feeling, but I am not a fan of the smell of this. It smells very spa-like, um, actually reminds me of Aveda. There's a lot of um, Aveda products that I use in my hair that smell very similar to this, but for some reason when I'm cleansing my face, I don't like things with too much of a scent to them, so wasn't a huge fan of the smell, but I do think it works really well and I will definitely be using it since I have now paid for it. Um, but the two products that I actually love after giving them a try are the Pro Collagen Marine Cream and the Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. Um, and they come in really good sizes in this set. The Marine Cream is what I have on today. Um, this is just what the packaging looks like. I love that it has this little stopper here so you don't get it everywhere. And of course, now that I'm trying to open it in a video, I'm gonna get it everywhere. Um, but yeah, here's what this looks like. It's a really thick, um, but yeah, it goes on super light moisturizing cream that leaves your skin just feeling so baby soft and smooth and ridiculously plump and hydrated. So I'm really loving this, and this has a really beautiful scent actually, unlike the cleansing balm, really loving the smell of this. And then of course the night cream that has the oxygenating quality to it. <laughs> um, this stuff is great, same packaging inside. 
I'm gonna try not to make a mess opening. Ooh, here we go, I'm gonna, gonna spill it. <laughs> yep, now I'm wasting product, but wanted to just show you what that looks like. Again, a really, really thick cream. I can't really tell that much of a difference, to be honest, and I don't wanna waste this, so I'm like putting it on my neck. <laughs> um, but I do love the smell of these. I love the feel of them. I will say my skin felt really super hydrated and refreshed when I woke up in the morning, which is one of the things I love about using night creams in general, because as I'm getting older, my face just feels tight and dry and um, crepey in the morning. So I've been really loving these creams and um, I definitely give them two thumbs up and could definitely see repurchasing in the future. And then the other product that came in the set is the Pro Collagen Super Serum Elixir. And this you only need one pump of. Um, it says one to two pumps, but because it's not the largest size, I have only been using one pump. And again, I like it, but I hate the smell of this. <laughs> it smells really... Um, probably earthy, I would say, but um, a little bit medicinal almost, just not a fan of the smell. And when it comes to serums, um, I'm not sure that this is actually that much better than other serums. I have to give it more time to try, but I don't know that I will repurchase this. Definitely the day cream and the night cream, but not really sure about this one. And I do know that the cleansing balm actually comes in like a rose balm, which I think I would like actually better because I love the scent of rose. And um, so I'll definitely check that out in store before purchasing and um, maybe try that the next time. The next couple of products that I picked up um, really had nothing to do with any kind of sales. I just got them in November and um, they are from Chanel from the Hydra Beauty line. This is the Chanel Hydra Beauty Mask, which I absolutely love. I use this at night. I put a thin layer just on my face and just let it seep in and sink in as I'm sleeping and it is amazing and it has the beautiful Hydra Beauty smell that's a little bit floral and for people who are sensitive to smells they may not love it as much as I do but I absolutely love this stuff and then I also picked up the Hydra Beauty Balm lip balm which comes in this little pot I had one of these um, that took me about probably close to two years to use up but I use it every night before I go to bed and first thing in the morning but as I'm kind of putting my skincare on love this stuff smells amazing was pissed that I um Got a little, I don't know if you can see the little indent in there. That's from the cap, me trying to put it on, but uh, I get so annoyed when I do things like that. And the next beauty product that I don't think I showed on my channel because it came in after I had done my Sephora VIB haul, but I picked up this beautiful palette by NARS and I just had to rave about the packaging on this. It's so lovely. These are three products that I absolutely adore all in one set. It's the Laguna Bronzer Orgasm Blush and the Orgasm Highlighter, which look like this. Try not to blind you. Absolutely beautiful. And um, since I love all three products and I just loved the packaging on this and the idea of having this for travel, I decided to go ahead and pick this up while I could get it with a discount. And the next beauty product that I have to rave about this month is something that I have been using um, right now as we are transitioning into winter and my skin is a little drier. I don't really love using my usual Bobbi Brown sheer finish or sheer powder. I'm not sure exactly the name of it, but the all over face powder from Bobbi Brown that I usually use is a little bit too drying and or too mattifying, I should say. So I like to go with something with a little bit of not shine, but just a little glow to it. So this is the Nude Finish Illuminating Powder by Bobbi Brown. I'm sure I've shown this on my channel. I have it in the shade Nude and I've actually hit pan on it, but this is what it looks like. And as you can probably see, there is a little bit of sheen on a few of these colors that are in the powder. So when you apply this all over, it doesn't look just matte. It gives you a little bit of life to your skin, which I absolutely love. So I've been really enjoying this this month. And the last of my beauty products that I had to rave about this month because I am obsessed with them, they are all from the Bobbi Brown Luxe matte line, which comes in this beautiful kind of matte gold packaging. Um, I have two, what are these called? Liquid Luxe velvet lip colors that are absolutely gorgeous. Trying to find the front of this one so I can hold it up for you. Um, one of them is in the color Scarlet starlet if I can read that right and um, it's this beautiful just 
bright, gorgeous red that is gonna be lovely for the holiday season. And um, the other one that I'm actually wearing right now is called Brocade, and these are in the matte formula. They also make these in a high gloss shine formula that is stunning as well. But when it comes to wearing bright, bold colors, I tend to go for mattes because I am the person that gets it all over my teeth <laughs> and it just comes off on everything because I am not careful. So really loving these. They have incredible staying power and um, I love the packaging. I love everything about it and just obsessed. And I also picked up two of the Lux Formula Matte Lip Shades. Um, these are in the color Red Carpet and Tawny Pink. I'll show you the Tawny Pink first. This is for me a beautiful nude brownie pink tone that I think is just a perfect sort of everyday color as I'm going into the office um, or if I just want something that gives me a little bit of life without too much boldness, that is what I would go for. And then Red Carpet is a color that's been around in other formulas from Bobbi Brown and I absolutely love it. It's just a deep, gorgeous red, perfect for the holiday season and um, just absolutely love it. So loving these formulas. They are long lasting. They are not... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Not drying, they are definitely great matte formulas that stay on forever and ever and look beautiful and feel beautiful on your lips. Moving into fragrances. The fragrance that I have been absolutely loving this month is from Tom Ford. It's Tobacco Vanille or Vanille. I'm not sure how you say that. I picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale and I think I raved about it in that video, but I have to rave about it again because I've just been wearing this a lot. It smells just so warm and intoxicating and I've got it on today. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance and I love the way this kind of lingers on clothing or your coat or something that you've had on. I had it while I was wearing a scarf and when I put the scarf on again I was reminded how beautiful this fragrance is but it's definitely got lasting power and um, even though it's a pricey little perfume it's definitely something I recommend if you are into smoky, deep, dark scents. And another product that was sent to me this month was from the company Teamy. You may remember that I talked about their 30-day detox teas last month that were definitely a favorite. Um, they made me feel energized and great and helped me lose a few pounds, so I was very, very thankful. Um, I actually ended up repurchasing the Teamy Skinny Tea, which is a loose leaf tea that gives you just tons of energy and boosts your metabolism in the morning. And this month they sent me the Teamy Relax Tea, which is a tea that you drink in the evenings. I've only been able to try this one time because I went away over the holidays, but it was amazing. It just helps just get you into that sort of relaxed state of mind before you go to bed. Um, it is made with peppermint, yarrow, if I'm saying that right, um, lavender flower, chamomile, lemongrass, orange peel, and valerian root. It smells amazing, tastes amazing, and is just the perfect go to bed, sleepy time tea for me. So if you're interested in any of the tea me teas, I definitely would recommend checking out their website. I'll leave a link down below along with the discount code that you can use. Okay, so a few of the things that um, I picked up from Amazon and I don't have here to show you because they haven't come in yet. The first is a Revlon styling tool. Um, I just wanted to talk about it because if anyone out there has this, it's the one that looks like um, a big round brush, but it's actually a dryer and a brush in one. I got that during the Black Friday sale on Amazon and I'm so excited to try it. I've heard really good things and I was really, really tempted by the Dyson tool that is out now, but number one, it's super pricey and number two, it was completely sold out on Sephora when they had their VIB sale. So i um, kind of glad I didn't pick it up because I want to try using one of these tools first and see how I do with it before committing to spending that kind of money on on a hair tool. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I also picked up the Amazon Echo, which that did arrive and is set up downstairs, but I'm sure you are all familiar with that. I am so late to the game with the Amazon <laughs> products and just with Amazon in general. I've always ordered from Amazon, but I was not a Prime member until this year. And now I'm like obsessed. Amazon is at my house just about every day and I purchase a ton of stuff off of Amazon that I used to purchase in lots of other different places and now I've got kind of a one-stop shop that I check now literally for almost anything I buy. So I'm a huge Amazon fan, as you can tell. And um, the last product, actually it's not from Amazon, the last product I have coming is a Le Creuset um, 
cast iron braising pan, which um, I ordered that along with a cookbook to get the free gift that they were offering. And um, I got that on a great sale and I'm just so super excited about that. And the one fashion item that did come in um, that I ordered during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales is from Mark Fisher. And I got this off of, I think it was DSW. This is a pair of boots that I had actually seen in Nordstrom. I think the ones in Nordstrom may have been slightly different, but when I saw these online, they were even better than the ones I saw in Nordstrom, just um, based on the type of leather that these are. But they are a pair of combat boots and I am just obsessed with them. So I'm gonna hold up one at a time here. Um, this is what they look like. They are absolutely gorgeous and they have um, a zipper on the inside so it makes it really easy to take on and off and the smell of this leather guys is just so amazing. I am a huge fan of Mark Fisher. These when I opened them like I could not believe how beautiful they were. I got them on sale for about $90 and they are absolutely just stunning. Um, they have that same sort of look and feel that reminded me of the Louis Vuitton ones, um, but these are even a little tougher looking and I just think they are so perfect and they appeal to my my inner moto personality. I don't know what that's all about, but I have this sort of biker chic thing that every now and then I just want to throw on my leather jacket and a pair of boots like this and go. And um, so yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with those. So happy I found them. And the handbag of the month, I'm sure you've seen it sitting back here that has been just with me all this month. It came with me um, for Thanksgiving weekend as we went away with some friends of ours and I cannot get enough of this. This is my um, Teddy Blake Eva, Eva, 11 inch Eva, I believe it is. And here is what she looks like. I've got her kind of dressed up with this um, little Louis Vuitton leopard scarf and I love, love, love this bag. It holds pretty much everything you could ever need. I've been asked to do an update video on this, how it's holding up. I will definitely get to that um, in a future video. But for now, I do have this little dent in the corner that's bothered me since the day I got it because it actually came like that and I thought it would just sort of work its way out and it hasn't. So um, that's really the only thing I can say about it. It has really held up well. It holds a ton of stuff and um, I really have no complaints. I mean, I think the quality is great. The quality of the leather is great. I think it just goes with everything. It is like my absolute favorite style handbag because it's got the top handle and it has the shoulder strap. It doesn't really work that great crossbody. I can put it on crossbody, but it's not ideal. Um, but I'll just quickly show you. I'll try to back up and show you how it looks on me on my shoulder. So here's where it falls on my shoulder, just right at my hip, which I think is kind of perfect. And if I put it on crossbody, it's a little bit high, but I did actually, we went um, to St. Augustine in Florida over the Thanksgiving break and I took this bag with me and um, just for ease of carrying it, I did throw it on crossbody and it was fine. It didn't probably look as cool as putting it on my shoulder, but um, yeah, it's just such a great bag. And of course, it now has me even more thinking about um, the much pricier version one day, but um, I'm still quite a ways from getting there. And uh, so yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So that is it for my November favorites. I did just briefly wanna mention that I do have a couple of items on order that are from the pre-loved market that I'm super excited about, but have not arrived yet. I got them during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend, um, and I have not yet received either one, but they are on their way. And I'm not sure if I will keep one or both or neither, <laughs> but um, they will definitely be a Christmas present to myself if I decide to keep them and stay tuned on my Instagram. Um, I will probably be doing some reveals to show you what I got. So that is it. Um, if you have any questions regarding anything I've talked about, please leave them in the comments down below. And otherwise, I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye.